reading comprehension some students think that it is very time consuming and it it needs a lot lots of practice to solve these kind of question so in the exam i am not going to attempt this i am going to leave it but some students think that it is just a passage we will read the passage and just will answer the questions no need to do any practice for this in both the cases you are mistaken in ugc net exam it is not you know the level is not too difficult that you are not able to solve this question within 5 minutes actually maybe sometimes it will take 6 to 7 minutes also but yeah you can solve it easily but it is not that much easy that directly you can read at the time of exam only and you will solve five questions and you are able to solve five questions correctly right it is a medium a kind of easy to medium level is easy to medium but see to solve at least four question i'm not saying that you will you will be able to solve all the five question but you can easily solve three to four question out of five question right just you need a little bit practice and a smart approach to solve reading comprehension question and that approach i'm going to discuss in this video right but before that just want to tell you the csir ugc net net aspirant you guys are having exam on i guess 26th of november for the subject chemical and mathematical science so i hope you are very well prepared for the exam but you can boost your preparation with the last minute strategy marathon at an academy for the subject chemical and mathematical science it is going to be held on 25th of november in these classes they are going to discuss some last minute tips that are going to be very helpful for you guys on your exam day and these classes would be conducted by the top educators at an academy and you can attend these classes freely you don't need to pay anything to take to attend these classes in these sessions they are going to discuss some tips about how to stay motivated throughout the exam paper strategy paper attempting strategy from all india rankers how you can avoid negative marking in your exam because in csi or ugc net you have negative marking tips and tricks to solve general aptitude questions a smart approach to maximize your marks mistakes to avoid while attempting the question paper and how to utilize your 3 hours timing in a best way for ugc for csi or ugc net exam these kind of things they are going to discuss in these classes and these tips would be really helpful for you on your exam day you don't need to pay anything for that you just have to do what to attend these live classes you just have to enroll all the details and the enrollment link i'll provide you in the description box of this video if you are interested you can go and check out now let us discuss the trick to solve reading comprehension question within 5 minutes see some some students also have this doubt also ask this question that should we solve rc question in the beginning or at the end so i would suggest neither in beginning nor at end because if you solve these questions at the end definitely you will have less time at the end you have 50 questions and 60 minutes right and at that time you have less time and you have pressure of solving the question you have pressure of reading the passage then solving five question definitely you will not get anything from that passage if you read that passage you know in pressure so if you you want to solve reading comprehension question do not leave it for the end and do not solve these question at the beginning because sometimes yeah obviously you got stuck somewhere and it will eat up your time and definitely then at that time it will create pressure on you like you have many question left and you have less time so rather than solving at the beginning at the end what you can do in the first go you can solve the question easy questions right within 1 minute you can solve those questions and then you can come to reading comprehension if you are good at this thing but suppose if you haven't practiced anything if you are very afraid of this thing then definitely you should leave it at the for for the end but i guess in my opinion it is one of the easiest uh, unit for your paper 1 and scoring as well because it is not that tough out of five question two question would be very easy two question you can say direct questions are there you can just you uh, read the question and directly you will find out answer within 3 4 or 5 lines of first 3 4 5 lines of that passage two question would be average type of question and one question is difficult question or you can say indirect question like 
they will ask uh, what is the moral of this uh, given passage or maybe they can ask the title of this passage or what the author trying to say in this passage for answering of for to answer that question you have to read that passage thoroughly you have to understand the gist of that uh, passage maybe that would be difficult for you but you can easily attempt three to four questions if you if you follow a smart approach so how to solve reading comprehension see in net exam you don't have much time to read the passage then read the question and all don't follow this approach that first read the passage then come to question what you have to do directly read questions so don't read the passage first read the question suppose you are reading first question right carefully because sometimes in question you have to take care of these kind of words like not not true or only these kind of uh, tricky questions they can ask right and try to write down the you know special or you know special kind of uh, words or keywords you can say or lines you can say from that question and just watch out the options given you don't have to memorize the question and the answers given you just have to go through those uh, questions and the options to highlight some main keywords given in question and answer right after that directly go to the passage and try to find out those keywords or those lines or maybe those numbers in that passage right i think for first two question you can easily find out the answer within first four five lines of that passage and while reading you have to read that passage with, with full concentration it's not like that you are reading that uh, comprehension and after reading three or four lines you are you know lost somewhere and you haven't get anything from those lines you have to visit that passage again so this is what wastage of time with full concentration read that passage at the first time only that you will get what is there in those lines maybe you don't have to memorize the passage also don't have to memorize the passage you don't have to memorize the question or the options given right but you have to read that passage with full concentration with attentive mind like in first go you can find out answer of the question right if see if you will read question first and if you will find out some keywords or some key points from that question or from that options given then when you are reading that passage your mind is what trying to locate those keywords and at that time it would be more attentive rather than without reading the question and you are reading the passage at that time you will not get anything from that passage i'm damn sure and sometimes maybe you find that keyword or that key point of that question in one line of that passage but still it is not the answer of that question maybe the answer is within uh, surrounding two to three lines you have to read more lines to get the answer so you have to focus you have to read question very carefully that is very important and then try to find out the answer and next i have already told you do not try to memorize the passage while reading see for first question you have done this thing for second question also you have to do same thing read question read options given within just you know a few seconds try to find out try to you know uh, write down those keywords or main points of that question and answers and then directly jump to that passage try to find out those keywords and try to find out the answer of that uh, question right now while reading that passage for these questions it's not like that you just find out the answer of these question that's it you have to understand try to understand the passage try to understand the gist of the passage what the author is trying to say at that time only because maybe fifth question is like this indirect question based on your understanding maybe they are asking the tone of that uh, passage what is the title or maybe what is the moral or something like this right so it's not like that it shouldn't be like that for fifth question you 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 need to read the passage read that passage again no while reading that passage for answering the questions first second third or fourth question just try to understand try to understand what the author is trying to say so try to understand the gist of that passage in first reading only and next step is if you got stuck somewhere in the passage suppose if you are not getting answer uh, meaning of any word or any line if you are not getting any line do not stuck at that line 
right it's okay if you are if you are not able to understand that line if you are not able to understand that word skip it and read next line right do not stuck somewhere do not try to understand the meaning of each and every word given and each and every line given in the passage right it is not important you have to just try to understand the gist of that passage main idea right next is do not waste much time in finding answers like suppose in first reading you are not getting the answer suppose you are good at reading second time also you have read quickly and but still you are not getting the answer of that question leave that question do not stuck at that question like i will find out answer of this question definitely if you do so then definitely it will eat up your time and remember one thing the answers of the question would be always from that the information given within that passage suppose there is one topic on which the passage is given and you are aware aware about that topic but still don't try to use your knowledge to answer that question like according to my according to me according to my knowledge the answer would be this but in the passage some something else is given so the answer would be what whatever is given in that passage try to answer the question whatever information is given in the passage based on that only do not use your knowledge yeah use your common sense and at last just want to say one thing try to solve one rc daily if suppose for one month you are solving uh, rc problem 30 problems you have solved and that time try to find out your approach maybe this approach is not going to suit you maybe you are good at reading while maybe you have practiced a lot and you are good at reading so suppose at first you can read the passage right and if not the entire passage then you can read 3 to 4 lines of the passage so that you will have an idea what the passage is all about then read the question and then you can answer those question by reading that passage again it's up to you so approach would be yours only ultimately at the time of exam right so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care